Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. Now, today's old stuff is going to piggyback a little bit on yesterday's new slash old stuff. What do I mean by that? Uh, yesterday, the video was the... Tops Archives Snapshots Online Exclusive, and something I failed to mention but followed up with in a pinned comment, but who really reads the pinned comments, uh, was that you've heard me mention a few other episodes uh, that I was talking with a Tops photographer, and he had mentioned to me that back in the day, Tops had their photographers, and therefore the imagery was owned by Tops, and they could reproduce it, and now they don't do that. They have a couple photographers uh, who shoot things like heritage, basically portrait cards, but anything in action, they no longer own. Um, they just buy it off Getty Images. So here's a couple of the vintage or archived imagery. Now, it occurred to me after the video, and I was really mad at myself that I didn't mention this, that basically this product allows Tops to recycle old images that they own the rights to and they don't have to pay extra. So it's really kind of a nice way to release a new product with old stuff and make money off of stuff they already own. Um, so to that end, today's old stuff. The tarp is coming off the field because we're ready to rip. The Wayback Machine for Throwback Thursday is taking us all the way back again to 1981. Now, I know we ripped some 81 last week, uh, but I wanted to follow up because of a couple interesting things. I never saw these before, never had them. These are 1981 Tops Giant Photo Cards. And what I'm going to imagine is this is going to be imagery that, you know, photographs of players that Tops still owns the rights to and can reuse. So we're going to rip these and take a look at what we get inside. Each pack just comes with one card. Uh, I got a lot for a pretty good price, and so I have more of these, and I'll probably throw them randomly in giveaways and spoils packs and things like that. The second thing that's interesting, as I mentioned, you know, I had more 81 Tops rack packs. Here's one of them. I hadn't opened the package, and when I did... I discovered that this is really crisp. This is like from the case, never sat in the sun, never taken out of the box, uh, and just stayed pristine. Because here's last week's rack pack. And if you can see how just like degraded it is or just kind of banged around, and I'll, I'll try to let you listen. It's kind of like, it feels like that kind of plastic when it sits in the sun and it kind of melts a little and so it gets soft, this feels like cello on the outside. It's, like I said, just fresh from the case. So I'm curious as to how those are gonna look when we rip them because before you notice the other rack packs, the cards are kind of curved because they've been sitting there so long and these aren't that way. So it should be cool to see what these look like. All right, but first we're gonna rip these big photo cards. I'm excited because I've never ripped these before. They're very kind of, they feel really fragile. Um, the, the pack is really thin. Like you can basically almost see through it. Steve, Hall of Famer Steve Garvey. It actually is not what I was expecting at all. I had sort of thought it would be like a baseball card, but this is just straight up, you know, printing photography on the back of like photo paper from 1981 super glossy on the front this is like you know back when in darkroom printing um cool that's got the autograph there that's pretty neat i dig that that's cool like i said never seen these before i don't know who shot these but my guess is, uh, you know, when you look at, like, we were looking at the top snapshots and heritage and stuff, and a lot of those are shot during spring training. I don't know if these are shot during spring training or not, but we got Fred Lynn was a uh, big-time player for the Red Sox, as I recall. Um, but 
here he is in his Angels gear, the good old school Halos cap. Nice shot. Looks like he's got some chaw. Young folks, don't get into the chaw. Just look at uh, some of the guys these days that had jaw cancer and all that. Or like Jim Kelly right now. All right. Like I said, we're just going to rip four of these. I have uh, quite a few more, but I imagine there's doubles. Ooh, Don Baylor. Now that is a great photo. I don't know. It just kind of struck me really quickly that great smile, really crisp image. Looks like just fresh after BP or something. He's sweating. That's really a cool shot. I dig that. Again, just the back standard kind of photo paper. I think you can see the that Topps logo. It's it's really apparent in person, but there we go. As I back up, you can see it a lot better. That was cool. Okay, last one. I'm not familiar with uh, Bob Gritch. Bob Gritch. So this is a lot of angels uh, and some Dodgers. I imagine this set has way more than just angels and Dodgers, but uh, that's what we got here out of these four. All right, let's take a, uh, a rip here at our really, really pack-fresh 1981 grocery rack pack. Like I said, I don't think it's different um, than that rack pack from before. They appear to be the same. Um, just one was out in the elements and the other one it was sitting in a case for years, for 30 plus years. So let's see what we get. Obviously, we're, we're hunting guys like uh, Fernando's rookie card, Kurt Gibson, and then just, you know, hot Hall of Famers, Reggie, uh, Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, Nolan Ryan. Man, even the cello. The other cellos, as, as you go back, if you want to watch previous 81, 82 rips, the cello comes off really easy. That one did not. That was, again, I think a testament to just how super fresh these are. Not as much um, of the powder from the gum as we see on the other ones. The cards themselves actually feel a little flimsier than the ones that were out in the elements that are, were curved. And as you can see here, they're really flat. They're, they don't have that curve the way the other ones, you know, they were like that. So that's really interesting too. Look at those glasses on this guy. Wow. Let's see what we got. Gum is. Even though it's sitting in a case, I'm still not going to eat the gum. Mike, o ooh, nice Mike Schmidt. Shout out to Mike O and Ray from Philly. Uh, that card's in great shape. Corners look really good. Maybe a, just a little kind of curve right there on one, which sometimes you just sort of run your thumb together on it, tightens it up. Really well centered for the era. That's a nice one. Mike Jorgensen takes so that was a pretty good one. Okay, it was okay. Uh, didn't ever pull this in an eighty-one before, and uh, as I've mentioned again in previous Throwback Thursdays, you know, uh, it come with an egg. Had the great point of like, do the sellers of this know the collation of the cards, so you're never gonna get those great rookies and because they just know they're not going to sell you that one um, but I don't know and and so far we haven't had a lot of repetition uh, maybe the guy I'm buying from just he's not checking the coalition I don't know but um, so far so good I like doubles anyway because that way I can give them away but it would be nice to have uh, you know some big hits big big rookie cards real uh, kind of printing issue down here at the bottom of this one that's kind of a bummer and again, so these are, like I said, these are the all tops photographers. You can, you know, the very few in game uh, right here. The all headshots, basically. Let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> that's a name. Pete Lacock. What'd you call me? Wow, that one had a lot of the gum on it. Clint Hurdle. 
Junior Kennedy. All right, not a great one. All right, let's hope for some last pack magic on Throwback Thursday. I know I love Throwback Thursdays. I think the fab subscribers like Throwback Thursdays. After this one, I will retire the 81 breaks for a little while since we've seen it quite a bit recently. Um, I've got some other vintage stuff that we can rip, uh, and we'll come back to the 81s in the future. All right, nice New York Yankees uh, team card. Jay Johnstone. So many headshots. Let's get something good. We need a good card. We, Other than that, Mike Schmidt, really not a lot of great stuff. Dave Kingman, that's pretty good. Wow, that was it. So not a great rip again. Uh, the other reason I wanted to do this was last week's 81 rip, again, was not that great. couple of okay cards. Um, really, we got no rookies here. Um, basically, the highlight are these two all-star cards. The Mike Schmidt card is pretty cool, um, but that's about it. That's kind of a bummer. Sorry it wasn't a better break, folks. Uh, but let me know what you thought, just about you know the compare and contrast of the 81s before uh, and that one pack fresh, uh, or, or case fresh, uh, and then more importantly, just what you thought of the, uh, these beautiful 81 five by sevens. Really fun stuff. For the collectors out there who love that kind of, get all geeked up on that stuff. So, appreciate you watching. Tune in tomorrow, because that will probably be the 222 subscriber giveaway uh, with the chipper. I'll cover, you know, show off everything that's in the prize package and then there'll be other stuff and uh, you can enter that video contest and should be a good one. So slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.